that, like Fox said, it's so squishy. So squishy. You get yeah. blinked on by PA, you're just instantly dead. You can't respond to it. Yeah, you get you this Yule Scepter, but once PA is BKB. Uh, going for the, the early blink himself, having already gone for boots, uh, King RD is going to head off to the bottom lane and try and harass away on this Titan, but shouldn't be able to get that much done there, I'd imagine, as early on they were able to find the skewer back on to Fade in first blood. My goodness gracious. That was unexpected, very simple. I <laughs> 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 didn't think the first one would happen in the Doom Magnus lane, but what do we know? They're making it happen. So early on, Chaos. Are you bringing Yang down low? I do like to see that Vichy, you know, they're getting it on the fun too. Tusken with the skill build of the Ori here. He, he went Dragon Slave instead of stun. Mm. Which means he can't actually pressure the Earth Spirit too much. It's very simple to stun immediately here every time he comes in for a last hit. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how the mid lane develops. Right now he actually has a level advantage on the Earth Spirit. Oh, we did see Fade up there, gonna try and body block out that camp so they can't get any pulls off. But yeah, the continued uh, harassment with the right clicks. Weeha just pulls in a couple of creeps every now and then. To me, it feels like the bigger issue is just getting levels on the Earth Spirit as he gets the last hit on that range creep. Nicely done. Yep. If he gets to level 6 before Lina, there's definitely kill potential on him. Top lane, Tavo under fire and going to eat the dust. As that was the first metamorphosis used. And Misery obviously doesn't have a way to help him out there. Yeah, Tuskus is so strong with Terror Blade. And then he was banned. Late to second phase, and they got it in the fourth pick, it's very unusual. And Air Spirit too, he wasn't touched at all until the very last pick. Well, and meanwhile, Tavo again, he just TP'd back here and going to be punished there. It looked like FN is still stuck down here bottom trying to deal with Yang, who has level six, and if he pops Ravage in range with an Anchor Smash, could maybe find that kill onto the PA as well. Yeah, but we'll have to be careful because if you don't pop lane, Doom actually just gets brought down by a three-man rotation again. Yeah. It just doesn't matter. Uh, he yeah. just has infinite uh, life there, and we'll be able to walk away from him. EY. Again, they find Tavo. This team slowed down. They have the shard block as well. Good skewer away from Misery. And that is going to make sure that Tavo is able to escape. And the roll forward from Weeha, able to jump here onto DY, reapply and magnetize now. We'll be able to find this kill, it looks like, onto the Grimstroke. Yeah. The rotation is expected. Of course, if he didn't get the kill, he would. Well, good luck killing that guy. <laughs> Tavo trying to burn through this stack, but will be found, a light strike array, every damn thing used, and Tabo tips Ori for some reason. <laughs> yeah, exactly, the Titan at all right now. Even if they were to doom him, they need like three or four heroes to even kill him. Oh, and trouble. Again, Lion found. Oh my god, the damage that comes out from that. Just so quick, and he is still walking away from this one. No gush available. As the stun in just a second, doesn't want to take too much damage to roof off that Kraken shell. Now the rotation forward, they do have the Doom, and I mean, taking a couple of tower shots and also being fully wrapped around upon. This might be a kill on a Tidehunter. Although Fade, he has the snowball save. Over to the creeps, to rolling the other direction, and that might keep him alive long enough. Can they do it in time? And Yang able to get off the Anchor Smash and just walk away. Takes the whole duration Doom, and Ravage now to turn it as well. And Tavo again hits the deck. I mean, we spoke about it, like they doomed him, they magnetized him, magnetized immediately nullified by the Kraken Shell, obviously. And they just don't have the damage to bring him down. Very nice snowball save. It's rough, man. This game is yeah. incredibly hard for Chaos right now. Lina getting the mid tower as well. Not much misery can do about that. Just be careful, one more hit into him. Okay, he's fine. Oh, the DD. Oh, the rotation though coming from the lion. He wasn't able to get through those trees there, but maybe still able to get in range. The slowdown coming. The Earth Spike is well, but that snowball save yet again. And are they gonna be able to kill off Ori? They will take him down now. Fade. Gonna get critted, but looks like that's gonna be the end of the altercation in mid. That is the problem with the Lina against the PA. You're so a jungling, and Blur is going to be on cooldown. Tusk going to be the one further forward. HFN, they do have the jump away to Misery if they can get it in time, but the chain stun coming. The skewer needing to live, and HFN trying to walk away slow yet again. Decides to turn and fight on a DY. They've already used the Laguna Blade off on the Lion, it looked like, and now the chase forward for Fate. He's going to be slowed yet again, but Yang to be able to walk out of there. Ori does get the kill, but if you go for the PA, you possibly find a much higher value target, and now you really just end up losing your life. The chase forward and power coming out yet again. Dragon Slave, the stun snowball, able to get that tomb off before the, well, Tidehunter used anything at all, so that might keep HFN alive yet again. 
with the chase forward and eventually trying to run. Roll in from Weeha, slowing everybody down, trying to jump to his buddy, and HFN able to walk away. The miss uphill, trying to run, and HFN actually lives through it. Chaos might be able to keep everybody alive here, although it looks like Weeha will be the one that pays the price. Safe to PA though, I think it was. Tynes is also on cooldown. They just don't have team fight damage right now. They do ever have the finger of death. They're thinking about going in for the moment. The light striker is already there. The lift up the rolling. Man, Aegis on the ground. Ravage interrupted and Ori does manage to find that Aegis. But now the jump forward and so much damage onto Vici. Can they kill him all off in time? The skewer four onto four. And Doom running away there. Able to get the Sunder off. HFN thinking about jumping back in again. But he is able to walk away with that fortuitous Invis rune. I ping like two feet. We got the gush on. Uh, looks like Tabo will get one more devour, but eventually will be brought down. And you can understand the the range is just not there. Yeah. Well, and meanwhile, a roll in wants to find this TB paparazzi magnetized. He has mantis style to get rid of it. He yeah. doesn't even want to get rid of it. They can reapply this magnetize. The silence is there though under Earth Spirit, and uh, he's just dead. I don't... I mean, it looks really weird that it goes in by himself. Now Lion is in trouble as well. Yeah. Well, Hex, give him the taunt. Give him the taunt and walk away. Doesn't happen. Chaos, like... Something happened, but because of that, and everybody's on the same page, that mm -hmm. just not much is happening. Now bot lane are getting caught up again. Yeah. They've got PA dead. HFN, one of the only heroes that was having a good game. We're yeah. closer to it, but it's still, you need, like, a couple of these other items that just, like, make you tanky in it stuff. Like, they've, they've got the Vlads on the PA as Fade wants to find Tavo. Shards revealing his positioning, and there's four Vici heroes here, and only one of Chaos. He's, he's just dead. To, to find the gank that he wanted to find. Like, he always tried, but the enemy team was just always prepared, or would just run away. Oh, HFN. Does have Blink out if he needs right. to. Yeah. The Snowball's going in pretty deep. See if they can punish it. They want to try and fight this. For sure, the kickback onto the Tusk, and now the Soul Bind. No follow-up at all, so Vici overextend. Yeah, I think Vici should literally just bar five men the top tower, let the Terror Blade the bottom half of, half of the map, and just converge to the top lane. I don't know why they're so stubborn and staying mid lane. Just get the whole map control. Contain the enemy in the base, outfarm them, wait for the big attack. difference maker in this is how much that Tidehunter was able to get out of the lane compared to the Doom. Doom is rendered completely useless this game. Oh? Stun? Oh, again. That's good again. Not bad. That was the second time he got caught out of position. Oh, they did use Finger of Death for this one though, and now, far forward, Weeha does not have a way out of this. And roll, actually, no, he does. Miss up hill. Oh, God, he goes down. The illusion is not going for a BKB at all, but. I mean, if he's doing that, then maybe you could just control him with the lion. You can. Oh. Doing a blade use in misery. Some dirt. Yeah, and now the chase forward, but Ori has already gone Shadow Blade Invis. HFN doesn't really have a way out of here. They still have vision onto him. The snowball forward can't get the BKB off in time. Can he? Maybe they get happen now. No, the Ravage. Everything followed up together, and HFN tries to jump away, but will eventually take him down. Fully controlled. This looks like they're going to take down Misery as well, and Vici just eviscerating chaos here. Yeah, didn't even use his BKB at the end anymore. Lion also going to pick up on the sideline. <laughs> Commit your BKB to Alina because she's going to heal herself. She has Shadow Blade to get out. She even has a cheese. And I think that that little movement looks weird there, but, you know, obviously... Oh, you will Scepter lift up. They've got Weeha. Tavo moving in, wants to do more. He's going to be able to find it onto that Lina, but now all of the damage in the world being laid out. They already had the Soulbind together. There's the follow-up stun. All the man times when he comes out of this, possibly trying to kick away one, but will eventually be killed off. RP on yep. to two. No? Hasn't used it? Okay. Nice. I'm faked it. They need to save this one because you can't really take the fight after the fact. And he's dead. Double kill there. The buyback coming from Misery. They need everybody to be alive to take this fight, really, and two are still dead, so they might just need to give up the first lane of Barracks. Stun onto Terrorblade, pull him in with the skewer. They still have that RP if they want to use it. And a jump forward from Yang. It's just too scary. Roll forward could come from Weeha here. It's not an easy kill by any stretch of the imagination. Paparazzi just having so much armor, and now they roll in onto just about everybody. Magnetized as well as the blade mail, but Paparazzi back up to full HP. 
The reflection might end up killing off the Magnus himself, and HFN using this 10 second BKB to do absolutely nothing. Yeah. Vici Gaming are so dominant in this, and I, I don't know if they have an answer. I don't think they have to stop. GG's up. GG's G called. called yeah. I mean, when the Magnus dies to one terrible delusion because he keeps trying to get an RP in, then, then you know game's rough. That was a stomp, Black. It was a stomp. I think a very solid draft. Turn to pick. So the lanes are looking tough for Chaos. Do you think that there's there's any way that they can try to switch it up to make it a little bit more favorable as the last pick does come in? Seven and seven from Paparazzi has had a completely free lane so far. And it doesn't look like that's going to change too much since they were able to kill off the boar. Now the tag team, Tavo, getting punched by himself. That metamorphosis used, and he is going to have another death. Tavo has not had a great game so far. We haven't seen all that much recently. Um, oftentimes sort of falls behind when you're uh, in tri lane versus tri lane, but is going to be down here bottom now. And again, they go on to Tavo. He's in trouble with that reflection out. He just takes so much damage to try and, try and turn this with the shackles on the disruptor. So you think if I the kill, Tavo actually lives through it. Instead, DY is the one that goes down. Yep. It's undying, of course, king of tri lanes for a reason. And it's going to be a tough lane for them on bot lane here. Oh, they Cast find the kill. Down. Double kill from Misery, already a much better time. And it feels like Chaos is just saying, okay, we're going to put that last game behind us, try and just dominate from the outset. They might be in trouble here, VG, but they're going to lose the off lane for sure. Timber against Tide. They're not addressing this TB at all. I'm really scared for him. They want to shut down the SF, of course, to give the Deuce a free farm. Three man rotation middle. Oh my god, just dropping the tombstone and moving forward for it, trying to find the range. He's going to be there for the shackles. And now HFN picks up a free kill, it looks like. Actually going to be going over to the Shadow Shaman, but Zuri is going to walk over to the tier two now, trying to deny himself to this guy. And does the Tusk get the kill? Ugh. Nope. I think he was in range for the but that guy is pretty stacked up in gold. We already know he, he doesn't like to be high level. He had like 70 <laughs> Kinep of level 14. That was ridiculous. Going on the Beastmaster yet again. <sighs> Tusk is just so good. Yeah. Tag team level 2 is so much Te in the second phase. Terrorblade, Metamorphosis, combo together with Tusk. It's just an easy kill. Or they might get another freebie here. Yeah, Misery in some trouble. They're still trying to rotate, but it looks like Ori has the range to get out of there. But on the other side, Misery does not have the luck. Or Tombstone as well. That's some pretty easy goal. Although the rotation coming in from We have trying to find the kill, they take down Paparazzi. Much needed. Where's the tit Titan rotating middle with the Ravage? Ah, dubious at best. And now they move in with the shackles. They have Ravage to interrupt as soon as Misery walks into this one. They take down the Shadow Shaman and well, Chaos. They find something, but then end up losing that uh, Shaman. I guess Ravage used. I mean, yeah, but I don't like the rotation from Tide at all. The Chaos stacking camps. This Timber Radiant needs to be dealt with right now. It just comes down there, SF. He's on the move already. Plus one more TP, they can get this kill on Timber quite easily. Yeah, yeah. Then the Tusk comes. He has Ravage in 15 seconds. If they play around for this for too long, it looks like Weeha trying to get fresh and fancy full. Wants to get the kill. The interruption, though, able to find it. Very greedy. Chaos gonna claim... Two of them? Two, two trade. Or oh, three, two. Uh, oh, the glimpse back to pull him in. And now they're gonna be able to chase down Misery, it looks like. So he pays with his life. Yeah. That's, and they have seen the rotation as well by a ward that just expired. Okay. They, they, they choose to pressure the high ground instead, though. I mean, that's something, for sure. And Misery, they know that they're in here. He's going to start throwing out the decay stacks. Well, they're still keeping pressure on that bottom lane. The tier 3 tower is down to about half HP. And now the movement in. Misery is going to die. HFN walking into everybody. But they get the Aegis onto Ori. But look at the damage that they were able to deal to tier 3. And now that's the stone gate. Ori is going to drop. The chase forward with that tombstone down. They did so much damage here to Vichy Yang. He's going to throw out that Ravage. Barely clips there on the end onto the Medusa. And it will be finally enough damage possibly to kill off HFN. Yes. There's a great Sunder from Paparazzi. But these zombies, they're just doing so much here. And now they were able to find that Shackles. The run down. Can they kill off Ori? We have doesn't decide to go for him. Uh, maybe a big misplay there as Tavo ends up losing his life for the cause. But instead, Weeha able to find the kill on the...
I mean, dubious. The trades for Chaos are really good. They don't want to save fight them, and they're avoiding them perfectly. I mean, Vici actually have to be careful here, because if they're able to save the wards from the tier 2, they could possibly drop them up on high ground and start pulling Vici apart. Misery is going to heal back up afterwards, has the tombstone down. Ori, he's, he's walking into the middle of everybody. Can they kill him off in time? No, he does get that TP away. Put it down. Radiant Courier drops. They really just want to get to late game. Oh, they see HFN though. That ward back behind the tower. Can they get there in time? They have the glimpse to pull him in for the fight in HFN. Can't believe it. He's just dead. Slight misplay by HFN here. He could have precast the uh, yeah. stone gaze during the glimpse. Uh, during the glimpse. And Chaos realized, yeah, we just can't take this fight right now. We have wants to go in, but he just can't do it. And he's still within. He already predicted that they would go for one. I mean, it can make all the difference in the world. Oh, oh, oh found, found him. Found him. Oh, man. And losing heroes. Michi not feeling great about that one. It's going to snowball over to the creeps, but this would take a whole heck of a lot to uh, secure the retreat. But HFN was able to get the precast there off on the stone gaze. And now the turnaround, they already found the kill on the one. If they bring in the rest of these heroes in time and Misery trying to keep HFN alive, almost taking that paparazzi, he gets the Sunder off on the Yang. That keeps him alive. And now the chase forward for more, though. Weeha has paparazzi in his sights. And uh, King R going to drop some more. It's going to shackle him up. And this looks like Ori is going to just have to run away. Is Misery still living somehow through all of this? I was sure that the Undyne would have been dead. But Ori going to DKB TP away, Yang. He's just going to be pulled back in here. Misery needs to walk away yet again. Has another soul rip. And somehow, some way, Chaos win two fights simultaneously. Team fight. Very uh. curious. Roshan is almost spawning. Ooh, I mean, that's rough. Yeah. That's not a team for that should have lost. They walk in now. Ori wants to take this one. Fade combination there onto Tavo. They pull them all inside, but this Tusk almost dead. Requiem out. Misery almost gone as well. But the Tombstone is here. Paparazzi running everybody, but Weeha starting to lay into Ori. Uh, again, no BKB, and Paparazzi will be able to find this kill on the Tombstone in a second, but he's also being controlled as the Static Storm is down. Ravage to try and turn it. Paparazzi needs to walk out. He doesn't have any mana. He doesn't have any anything. They're shackling this Tidehunter, and Weeha has that terrible in his sights. Will find the kill eventually. Again, Vici just one by one by one by one, they die. Possibly. Yep, they're going to glimpse Manta away dodge. HFN. Uh. Oh, I didn't have Manta ready. He would have dodged this. And now, you don't have a Medusa for this fight. And Vici are just going to walk immediately up and take down this melee barracks. So it looks like Static Storm already down onto Weeha and Misery. They're keeping their eyes on the prize, trying to kill it off. Roar there, and the Ravage to follow, but still living through this. And now HFN is shown back up. The chase forward coming from Weeha. It's the BKB out, and King RD is actually going to go down, but the wards have already been dropped. Can they kill off this Terra Blade? They still have the chase forward, and with everything used with Sunder down, they just lose him. So they take down the barracks. In the danger zone is that now you have Aegis on the Dusa, and she's on your high ground. And no wards? No metamorphosis. <laughs> this glimpse is going to have less impact than the last one. Slightly, yeah. <laughs> and of course, the exposed barracks is a free rex for Dia, pretty much. Oh. They cannot team fight this. No ravage, no metamorphosis. Top lane, though. Ori, he's keeping his eyes on the prize. Shadow Shaman might be able to control him if Ori does not get his BKB off up there in the top lane as they do have him already hexed and they have the shackles afterwards keeping him under control so it's long. just to try and hold off for the moment yeah. keep him off of the barracks keep him off of the tier three tower still playing around with ori and ori has to back out meanwhile chaos also able to just walk away and well king rd he actually is just going to keep his eyes on shadow feet here keep him chasing in the woods isn't going to be able to find him it looks like yeah Still, Chaos, Reflection, going to be manted off in the Tier 3 tower, assaulted. They have to wait a little while for the Shadow Shaman to show up, so they know that it's going to be a 4 on 5. Yang walks forward, still holding off for the moment. No mana, Ravage in 13 seconds. Do you have any way to make this work with the mana afterwards? Nope. Not any stick charges at all. The Static Storm is down, but where's the Ravage follow -up? They don't have the mana. They have the Requiem, and all of Yang is starting to fall down low. They kill off the Titan. He has buyback. Can TP into this one and try and go for the Ravage afterwards. They have the Shackles broken for the moment. The Ravage going to connect on to four of them. Can they kill off all of these heroes? They have the Stone Gaze, though, and now control. Paparazzi is going to fall, and GG is called. Chaos do it in game number two.
clinic. Dropping their items. Chaos the played play. super well this game. Like, they look like a proper tier one team. Team Corden. Turn to pick. This lane. I think not. As the DD rune would love to be able to. I mean, if Fade steps too far forward, they're actually going to use the pullback in onto HFN, and now the turn to fight. They want to find this kill with the DD disruptor. They might be able to get it, and it will happen. HFN drawing first blood, and well, Ori can't stick around that much longer. Yep. Dewarding the ward. Easy. Should have given him a tangle, man. He will deny himself to the neutrals now. 24 seconds on the sideline. Weeha will walk away, but this is Hell showing yeah. the strength of the centaur. Yeah. Yeah. Scary part is just the PA, who's completely left unchecked so far. Ah. Bravo. As, I, as I said, he's like the oh, mid lane. Going again on to Ori. They have the wall down, gonna catch on to him, looking for the phase shift, but it was a good raise fake and H as well. Yeah, the pressure point of the VG lineup is definitely the PA, and he's getting no pressure at all. Might even just get a free kill right now. Yeah, and this has sort of been par for the course, it's felt like. It's actually DY that picks that what item build SF is gonna go for. Is he gonna go for the Gree five man push thing, or is he gonna opt to go physical damage and try to combat the PA in mid late game? I have been seeing some of the phase drums, could be that. Paparazzi pulled back in, got caught there in the wall, but with the blur evasion, they're still gonna chase with the Thunderstrike, but only to put some pressure on as the rotation comes from Ori, and actually trying to turn now. They drop the coil onto Weeha. As you said, only level four, and well, it looks like they don't have an answer. They just find two kills. Yeah, actually, it's a t Shadow Speeder. Yeah, running at like 500 that mess when he activates both. The max move maniac. Yeah, but this visage is just gonna die again. Dude, this is a problem. Look at this yeah. guy run on in there. And King RD, he doesn't have anything to sort of stop this here. We'll have shards, can maybe try and create a little separation if he needs to, but we'll walk away from the lit. Henshul, the dive here. Lich is behind the tier one tower, a little ways away, and fade off in the trees. They're moving into position here. Tusk, they get the roar on to that. Centaur, now the chase hard more with the stampede and everybody moving into position. They find the hook stomp. The coil connects onto two of them as well. And now all of Chaos is stuck in a huge kerfuffle as Mr. King RD also going to be ran down. That was the epitome of disaster. Type of heroes that are able to get tremendous split push going on. You need something like the Beastmaster of a Necro book, but he's still trying to build towards that Vlad. And now Misery again going to be picked off. Not the biggest deal in the world. Just gonna find the Beastmaster. Yeah, they know he's right here. They, they, they see it immediately and chasing for Tavo. They have the Dream Coil used yet again. The strength of this puck, the ability to just keep the pressure going and the hoof stop followed up by the punch. DY gets the kill. Yeah. It's gonna get caught out in a second. They still don't have Stampede, but he's trying to retreat to the north. Guess what? That's where the rest of Vici is. They throw out the dagger. Gonna try and run him down the roar to try and slow this down a bit more. HFN hides off in the trees. They have the Dream Coil. Trying to just walk his way out of there. Chain Frost bounces back and forth. Vici, no mercy at walk through him though. They might realize that there's somebody in the area. EY gonna drop down the ward. They see him in the trees and that should be the kill. Misery gonna look for possibly just dropping down the Static Storm immediately onto Ori, and they do do it as well. Not PG. Blink Dagger done for the puck as well. Static Storm still 15 seconds away. The smoke up coming from Vici. Paparazzi could jump in in the midst of all this. They've already found the hook stomp. Now the lift up onto the Tusk, the Roar, trying to counter initiate. They pull him in with the Snowball. Not bad. And now the turnaround, though, the Stampede. They've still got them all caught there in the war. But where is the damage coming from Chaos? It's not there, and it's in spades for Vici. The old Static Storm. There's okay. some opportunities. The, the Courier reveals positioning possibly. Jump forward, hook stop, not quite on the mark. And now the Snowball saving himself, at least for the moment. Roar, which was stolen by Faith. And now the jump forward, they kill off Misery. Doesn't have buyback, so no Static Storm and Chaos. They have to save their SF. The Red Wind does come out and it is going to be able to find themselves at least one kill in a Paparazzi. And Yang also might end up going down here. So Chaos, have they been able to do it? The Shards connect on Ori. He used his Illusory Orb a second ago. Requiem, then he died and the passive Requiem killed the PA. And suddenly, it's an 8,000 gold lead, but you have damage in the Roche Pit. That's a Lucio I've already used. They're buying back on the center. They want to get him into this fight. He does have no stampede. 10 seconds away, the Snowball. They jump in, they really find the stun. It's going to be there. And now the follow up, they're able to take down Ori. Vici, what have you done? They've already lost one. They're going to lose two. And maybe shards afterwards. Can they catch the Centaur? Yep. 
This is the Centaur still far away. Puck also in the area. They haven't revealed that BKB as of yet. And now the jump forward. They're not going in yet. It's a strong time to have a Crimson Guard on the Centaur as well. That's so careful. Jump forward. Hook stomp on the two. The claim is going to be there on both of them. But the road interrupt. That might be enough to try and slow them down. HFN pops out the right wing. does nothing at all. Trying to run. The slowdown comes from Paparazzi, though. He's able to back away. They need some type of control for this PA. Able to dodge away into the trees. That keeps him alive yet again. But so far. Are so good for Vici as they've already killed off three of the heroes, which includes the Aegis. The TP out from Tabo does look like he's going to be able to escape, but I think you said it best when you said risky. That was tough. They had two huge item times. They had the Crimson Guard, they had the BKB on the PA. Would have happened if they would have gone a couple seconds earlier, but still scary stuff. The Tusk revealed there, and the Dagger, the Coil, doesn't have anywhere to go. He's yep. just dead. And down you go. Misery also in trouble. Ah, uh, the glimpse away. Revealing his position, and now he's just dead. And just like that, Vici take two kills. They're gonna control the map, control the jungle, control the game. Yeah. I mean, Vici is... Go for the killer if there's a lot of them. Yeah. I would like to see away. the puck go for... Oh, he just did it. He just went for travels. Look at you go. Good guy. Uh-oh. HFN. He's getting jumped on. They have the stampede to chase him down. Gonna need the roar to save his life. And now Requiem gonna get thrown out. But do they have really any way to control him at all? They jump forward. Want to find the kill, but Paparazzi gone crazy. The BKB is already out. He wants to get the crit. It's not quite there. That crits, that's dead. Yeah, but no he... such luck. You went a bit crazy there on, the, on Paparazzi. <laughs> <laughs> I think if he actually BKB there earlier, he never would have gotten the kill. But... Ah, uh, they're still chasing this one. They use the coil now. Lift up, Tusk dead yet again. No buyback for him. They kill off the Disruptor as well. And Vici only slowed down by the stuns from the familiars. And yeah. I'm shreds him through it. Yeah. He has so much raw physical DPS right now. They need more of the survivability items for sure. Well, the hoof stomp, it's going to connect onto two of these heroes. They the resummon, it's not going to be enough. He's just gone. 1,200 crits. Paparazzi is a monster. They do kill off Ori. To retaliate Dex, this tower's gonna take a lot of damage. Jeff Ann. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Get some punches. <laughs> so much damage, they're 100 in the game, and that's where Chaos will have to strike. They can't give them the Roshan, or the game will just end. Vici is in a position to just sort of barrel down a lane. They find the hooks off the snowball save onto two. The static storm is down, but I don't think this is good enough. Paparazzi does not give a damn. He has the BKB. Look at these cleaves. Look at the crits. Look at the kill for HFN if they can find him. But they're going to buy back on the tusk. That slows down the pressure. Yang is under tier four towers. You get a good bit of damage, but now the triple dagger yet again. Keep your eyes on Paparazzi or maybe just the hook stop coming out and a triple kill already. Can he find more? Focusing down the visage now. He wants the ultra. Give this man a little bit more here as well. Another blink strike after the snowball is going to come in a second. And I don't think King R is long for this world. Rampage stolen, but it's all good because there's another target to go after afterwards. HFN is God, beyond godlike for Paparazzi. And GG is Vici. Knockout Chaos. He stole the Rampage, man. Unbelievable. Well, there's not much to say about this game. Vici had disappeared.